you watch this video, I'm going to talk about gentrification. My take on gentrification. Gentrification is a bad thing going on. Not to say there wasn't corrupt forces before gentrification came to a community. But to sum it up, it's when a bigger bully comes in and takes control. That's gentrification. Usually race isn't thought of. It's not spoken of when people gentrify a neighborhood. But they still see poorer people and poorer demographics. When they come in, poor white, black neighborhood, whatever it is. It's happening in small white areas. It's happening in black hoods right now. But it's when a bigger bully comes in and decides he's going to build. Well, he mean in the collective of the new wealthy coming to the town or whatever. You know, the new wealthy coming to the town will build. And take over. And the older supremacists get mad at this new supremacist. The old good old boy networks say they don't like the new people coming in and pricing everything up. Not to say there wasn't evil before. It's just that the previous people who were the old boy order, they get even meaner because this new bully comes in and tries to take over the town. Now... Thinking of a recent example that I heard about, or seen, or observed, where a small town in Idaho is now turning into a big city. It's, they're trying to industrialize it. Good luck with all those hillbillies up there. Good fucking luck with that, by the way. You're not going to get much done. You're just going to impose your will as the bigger bully. You're going to impose your will as the bigger bully. Without actually changing the town, all you're going to do is make changes in the form of higher costs in what appears to be a newer community. But the same old community is still there before and they're meaner than ever and you fuck that up more so than it needed to be. That's all there is to it. Gentrification has to be stopped. And... This COVID virus, I hope, is the thing that does it, or dust storms coming in from Africa or whatever coming in the United States. Whatever. And when we're going to have to wear our masks, by the way, when that dust storm coats this whole fucking country. So, where I speak with delivery, I have to say one thing. We're going into a deep depression, and gentrification has helped cause that. And in Portland, you had the black community, and you had people gentrifying that coming in from other places. And has it changed the community? No. Is North Portland any fucking better? Hell no, it ain't. It's still a shithole. In fact, it's a bigger shithole than it was before. With white people. A.K.A. white people. Moving in. Okay? It's a bigger shithole. It's more traffic now than there used to be, and it still looks crummy. And I see pale faces around there more so. With blacks on the side streets, maybe. But on the main road, it's pale faces every fucking way that I have looked. Whenever I went by there, I don't even go there. I don't even fucking go there, dude. Sucks. And the, the traffic, because it got a little more trendier down there. The traffic's worse. The neighborhood didn't improve, though. The neighborhood did not improve. So, stick these gentrification experiments up all of your fucking asses that try to displace individuals because of class, because of race, or whatever fucking reason you can think of. So, there. I'm done with the rant. Good night all.